my name is Jamie O'Manny. I'm a software developer for KX. And tonight I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the product. First of all, a bit of truth about KX. So I'm surrounded by startup companies. We'll see here straight away that we are actually a global company. Um, we're a division of an Irish company known as the First Derivatives Group. And we have quite a large user community at this stage but it's still very, very niche. So maybe a couple of several thousand users. This is the fact that we've been widely adopted in the financial services for over two decades. So over two decades, not new at all. But my line here tonight is basically that it is only very recently that we have come into the view of the general public's awareness. Therefore, our database has started to become more prevalent in industries such as energy, pharmaceuticals, software, and telco as well. So let's skip that one and just talk about the database itself. So what is KX? It's an integrated columnar database and programming system. The programming language is called Q. And what we are capable of is excelling within three paradigms streaming real-time and historical data. So everyone knows that big data has now become a real big issue. As I say, we've been around 20 years, so we've been dealing with this forever. Um, In-memory systems, at times, uh, start to obviously fail when they reach their RAM capacity. But this is where KX becomes very, very important. What the system allows you to do is combine historical insights with your real-time data which is very important in several industries for things like backtesting, predictive modeling, and forecasting. And finally, we have a 32-bit free version available on our website, kx.com, for anyone who gets a bit of interest out of this tonight and would like to try and test the product. And then finally, obviously, this is how we earn our money. We have a 64-bit licensed version of the product as well. So now I'm going to flick to a demo. What I'm going to show you now is basically a dashboard, but it will portray an application under which the KX technology is used. So a bit of background on the screen that I'm now showing you. Um, it's called Marker Replay. It's in the financial realm. And what it allows our financial clients to do, whether these be banks or regulators or exchanges, is survey their participants' market activity versus that of the rest of the market and analyze this huge amount of data that can be billions of rows per day. And once you go to history, maybe even trillions, and analyze and find anom anomalies or else fraudulent activity. So that's number one. That's the size of the data. That's seen here in this event blotter. So each one of these is a particular transaction for the day on that particular stock or security. What's also interesting about KX is that I said we're able of, uh, capable of streaming and real-time data. We're capable of complex event processing in that our database is extremely powerful. What I can do with this little control up here is basically I can start to analyze this data in real time. I can do this in terms of time down to a millisecond level, although the database itself is capable of nanosecond um, time stamping, or I can do this in terms of events, which is probably better for the show. So by simply clicking this right arrow here, what you'll see start to occur is that my analyst can go through and see the transactions for the day very, very quickly and very, very powerfully play through. What's also happening is there's a number crunching engine, also written in the same programming language Q, that is creating the order book here. So for those of you not aware of finance, basically the order book is just a list of buy and sells for a particular security. Each one of these transactions, as we play down, is actually making a certain change within that order book. Just one final thing. So quickly, I'm just going to create a new app because I'm right at the end now. I'm just going to show you a bit. 30 more seconds. We'll blame it on the internet connection again. But um, 
I just very, very quickly create a new application just by getting myself a query window here. I said that it was a database, but I also said that it had its own programming language. The programming language has its own SQL-like syntax. So say I want to get all the trades for the day for a particular security, and I'll increase the size of this. You simply select from trade where the symbol is equal to the ticker that you want. You run this against the database, and you can see how powerful it is. That very, very quickly revealed to you all the trades for the particular security A and Z on that particular day. Thanks very much. Questions, anyone? Okay, right. uh, how much is a 64 bit version? Um, so come to me afterwards and we can talk about the licensing <laughs> on the 64 bit version. Um, but before you even do look at the 64 bit, I would tell everyone to try out the 32 bit version. But if someone wants to seriously discuss the licensing, come to me afterwards. What, what kind of hardware do you need to, to run this? So, so basically, the executable itself is very, very lightweight. It's actually only about 500 kilobytes. Um, so you can put this on a Raspberry Pi if you want and run it. But <laughs> I, I wouldn't be analyzing the Australian stock market on a Raspberry Pi. So it can be anything from a Raspberry Pi all the way up to a super, super computer. Sorry. Uh, what's your sales model? How are you selling? Yeah, so it's basically the 32-bit version is free, but then obviously you'll reach a memory limit at some stage when you come into vast data volumes, and then it's the 64-bit, which is licensed on a per-core model. And you know, you're selling over the phone, or is it, uh, do you have enterprise salespeople? Um, so in quite, quite a lot of ways, um, basically, obviously 20 years ago, it was sold just into the financial industry now alone. Because of our parent company, the Irish parent company, now we actually have a marketing department, yes, that are behind this, making cold calls, etc. How does this application cloud-based, or is it totally uh, local? So, um, this one is actually in the cloud at the moment. It's on a server in the cloud. It can be either, basically. Um, dependent on the organization, a lot of financial institutions prefer to have it in their own server room, obviously, whereas it's becoming more and more prevalent where we're doing tests on Amazon and other um, actual paying cloud authorities. ways basically we we have replication available out of the box where a certain process can replicate another one but usually within finance and within others we just run a haha -ha configuration where you have the same data provider publishing to two um, separate identical systems so this, does this subscription give me access to Pricing databases, or do I have to provide that information to Bloomberg or somewhere else? Yeah, exactly. So you still have to obviously go to Bloomberg or Reuters for the market data. We're not a market data provider at all. Any limitations on the type of data, or you can just work with anything? Whether it's no, so, or so this screen is very flashy, and it's obviously a meetup, so I didn't know the audience that would be here tonight. But the base product, it runs on the command line. You enter the product by just hitting Q, and so everything is built up from the bottom. Basically, it's up to you to design your schema. They can be complex or as simplistic as you'd like, and you build everything up from totally customized mode, basically. So you already figured how the database pumped into it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool. More questions? Oh. What category would you say this is in? Like, is it a development tool, or is it a database or is it, it, a it is it is a database and it's an, an analytical tool all in one so 
usually you'll have a SQL database that may not be very performant. Unless you read the data. Un well, yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> No, 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 I'm all for Deep SQL, I was very impressed. But um, no, that, that may not be very performant, and you have to use another tool, a statistical tool, to take that data out, transfer it across the wire, come up against transmission costs, and then analyze it there. Whereas with this, it's all within the one executable. You're basically building your database, and then you have the analytical capability with the language queue to work directly on that data. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any other uh, verticals that you're currently in? So, as I said, that's one of the reasons why we're here. Basically, we've only very recently, so within the last year, started to go into other verticals. One of the main use cases was actually with the utilities at Harvey. We also have one pharmaceutical customer now as well. So it's basically anything that requires time series analysis. Thanks very much. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. Thank you.